You've seen the other night we did step one of lighting the crank. Tonight we're going to move on to doing step two. And yes, I'm wearing my same, same shirt. Yeah, it's just a personal joke. But anyway, let's do a recap what just stage a quick one recap was. What stage, stage one was. Two. Remember on stage one, as you can see, there's a shitload of metal, so obviously there's a shitload of work going on. But virtually we lined up the top of this one, the tangent point of this, to the tangent point of there, and just machined all the meat away. So that's basically a roughed out version. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start doing some drilling. So this is where your conrod goes. So what we're going to do at the moment, we can see it's solid. So it's heavy. So as the crank rotates around, there's still a lot of weight. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a kick-ass size drill in. And it's going to give a depth, and we're going to put a nice big hole in here. It doesn't weaken it. You go look at some of your race cranks and all that. They're all drilled out anyway. We don't go to that extreme, but I mean... So once we've got it worked out where we want to drill it, we've done all the calcs, so obviously we don't stuff it up. We just get in, we hook in, and we just drill the bloody thing out to our required depth. Stay tuned. So as you can see, we've got a nice big hole which used to be solid. So I'll do all this side first, then I'll turn the crank around, I'll drill from the other side, and then we'll... Um, have a nice light and little end. Look, we can go bigger. Just got to bear in mind, you just got to be careful there's all the way. We don't want any spillages. I don't want to press copper tubes in or do anything too erratic, but that just gives you a bit of an indication of what's going on.